Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scale Models and today we have another sprue review. This one's from IBG Models. It's 135 scale. It's the 7TB Polish tank, single turret version. Uh, this is the limited edition version as well, which gives you some plastic crew figures or crew members, metal barrel and stuff like that. This is a full interior kit. so. It's going to be a little bit detailed and a little bit more complex than normal. Um, it's something different than the usual tanks. Normally it's the British, Americans and Germans and Russian tanks that are out there. A different country for a change. So this is the Polish tank. 7TP. Let's take a closer look. Okay, what we get inside the box is quite a thin box, um, and these are the parts, crew figures and metal barrel, full interior, a little bit of ride up. As I say, it's quite a th thin cardboard. We get your worksheet, one bag of sprues and tracks and wheels. The figures are done by mini art, detailed parts, here's your metal barrel, we have this part for the turret, it's not a very big uh, tank but it's going to be quite detailed, so we have um, more parts and transmission and engine covers and stuff, here's the side of the tank and the floor, we get some clear Photo etch and decals, and then this piece is for the crew. So let's take a closer look. We're going to want this, this. Okay, this is the worksheet. We get some uh, symbols for warnings, a couple of parts within the kit, a little bit of write up, and information for the manufacturer if you need to get hold of them for any reason. So we get sprue map, everything with what's within the kit, and, and get colour called outs down the bottom here. Um, but hey ho. Life Color, Mr. Hobby, AK, Mission Models, and at Attacker. I have one, two, three, I have four of these manufacturers pretty much. So this is the uh, color callouts for the interior. And yeah, strangely the interior is not white inside this tank. They've done it as C, which is a Polish sand color. The engine is obviously like a black colour, fuel tank is silver, transmission casing is uh, black, uh, ammunition boxes are green, the storage for your shells are the uh, sand but the obviously shells are the uh, brass colour. As for the building process steps, you first start off with the engine radiator system and fans so you build up two of those, left and right. Step two is the engine block itself. It comes with two halves. It looks like the oil pan, the top of the engine and whatever. Turn the engine to one side and you've got these cylinder pieces on the side of the engine. don't know what they are. Engine uh, floor, right, uh, the rack and the radiator system going in. The engine has more parts to it, like just like turbo maybe or whatever. The uh, exhaust manifolds that all gets attached. These triangles are for the paint colours. Um, more detail parts down here for the engine. More piping exhaust system. This looks like part of the uh, gearbox, maybe. Inside the uh, um, tank, dropping your engine in. Then you can put your side walls in. There's a couple of 
photo etch pots. Um, we have more piping, more engine uh, parts, which is like looks like the uh, fan belt, not fan belt, but the um, pulley system bit. The um, I don't know what you call that neither. Uh, transmission casing going in, which is here, and drivetrain, firewall, and then we have the foot pedals and stuff going in for the cockpit area, like the tank inside the uh, driver's compartment. Outside is more photo etch and transmission work covers. This looks like part of the uh, drivetrain. The seat, driver's seat and pedals going in. Uh, here looks like the gearbox assembly. And that's what it looks like built up. Down here we have more pedals and levers going in. This is the gearbox part going in. Um, and then showing you what it looks like when it's done. This looks like the fuel tank. Uh, ammunition stowage rack, which is all made of photo etch. These are plastic um, ammunition machine gun boxes. We have the rear glacier or rear of the, of the, of the, of the tank. Some hatches going in there, some grab handles. Then we have the uh, front glacier, engine decks, and photo etch parts going in there. This is inside the tank. We have another structural plate, front glacier, driver's hatch, the turret floor, where the turret ring is. More hatches and glacier going in, grab handles, lights, all the uh, fine detail parts. Hatch open or closed, being that it's full interior. You might want to have it all open so you can see all the detail. The rear tank, tow cables, spare tracks. And then we go on to drive sprocket, idler wheel and road wheels. This is the bogey assembly down here for the road wheels. I think there is three on each side. I'm not sure, we have to have a look. I have two bogies each side and then all the uh, bogies and wheels being attached. Your tracks assembly, there are plastic tracks, we get a long piece for the bottom, a long piece for the top, and then individual links for the curve, like link on link. This is showing you how it's done. Step 29 is what looks like the exhaust system, attaching an exhaust, fenders going on, and the brackets, which are made of PE or photo etch. A lot of PE parts here, spare wheel, Ammunition boxes and tools. I'll do all my tools last. That's how I like to do mine. Repeating the process on the other side with the fender and brackets and different storage and tools. Turret ring, pedals, and and some like handle things for probably doing the turret manually if it breaks down. Um, is it commander seat? Probably that will be another seat going in. Some internal parts for the cockpit not pit, cockpit but the uh, turret uh, the turret uh, catch basket for the shells this is the gun breech going again and, and the machine gun this is more of the gun breech and gun going together this is what it looks like when it's built more detailed parts and photo etch brackets all going in the main gun itself now it's like we say it's a metal barrel with a plastic end Gun mantle it, nicely done. More parts in the turret. Turret goes together itself now. Is one piece, and then you've got the back built up. It looks like more stowage. The roof of the turret has the vision, can't commander's vision ports. That gets dropped in. Aerials, the front gun going in as well. More hatches on top of the turret, open or closed. Again, being that it's full interior, you want it all open so you can see all the detail. Um, I think they do do this kit in another variant, but without the interior. But I think, I'm not sure. But this is one of the paint schemes, like I mentioned before. They're calling out for 
brown, green and sand. The um, sand colour is the Polish sand. The green, which is uh, A, which is Polish olive, olive green. And then the brown is Polish olive brown. So they're all Polish colours. Um, you're going to have to do references to work out how you want to get the closest to them. I'm not sure if I actually have these colours. Again, same colours but slightly different pattern. So this piece here is talking about the gun and your figures. And on the other side is the colour callouts for your figures or tank crew members. Uh, they are mini art figures that come with the kit. Uh, so we've got flesh, black leather coat, black leather, uh, brown leather, khaki and silver. So the silver for the metal parts, leather, this is a black leather coat and they, their, their uniform is khaki. Pretty standard stuff, Polish uh, tank crew members. As for the little fellowette shit, sheet, um, it is sealed up so cut into this it does have uh, a silver back in So we've got a nice piece of photo which we have structural parts these pieces is for your ammunition rack these are structural parts for the fender you've got your grills these pieces go on the outside these are brackets these look like more brackets and stuff pretty standard stuff and as for your decals you just get some numbers so it's like a little lion or cat symbol, elephant and some buffalo type symbols I think they are. A couple of uh, instrument uh, uh, binnacles. So as for the plastic. So in this bag we get two of these, contains your shells, so we have all your shells to paint up individually to go into the ammunition rack, we have your machine gun boxes which should be like the uh, olive green colour, I don't really have a brass colour at the moment so the closest I've got is gold so I might paint them gold and then just dirt them up a little bit so it should be okay here again we have two pieces the same these are your tracks so you these long pieces for the top this is for the bottom and then you get individual links for the uh, curve so this is what the tracks look like. And then we have two of these which are your, your wheels. So we've got bogies, drive sprocket, idler wheel, road wheels, that sort of thing. Pretty standard stuff. As for the detail, Nicely done on, on the dry sprocket with bolts. Leaf springs. And these are your bogies.
in this small bag we have your turret. So we have your, your turret piece, nicely done with all the bolts and rivets. The vehicle was built in 1938, 1938 I think it was on the suctions. So it's still going to have the reminiscence of like World War One, made of rivets and stuff, it hasn't really got much welding, it's still the early design of tank development. We have this sprue here, contains part of glacier system, exhaust, uh, I think these are some hatches. We do get another piece of piping, it is mm, kind of slime moulded kind of we have this large sprue we have detailed parts this is the uh, turret ring and so is this so this is the turret ring and this goes in here this is the top of the uh, turret we do get a plastic gun but there is a metal one within the kit which is again all of this segment here is all slide molded so there's the plastic barrel, but as I say, there is there is a metal one. So I'll be using that because I've paid for it, basically. Here's part of the uh, upper deck for the turret. Here's the uh, top turret. Here, here is your turret ring. It has no teeth on it, unfortunately. So we've got more plates, hatches. I think this is part of the. Uh, I think this is the uh, this piece here is your catch basket. So nicely done. Remember, this does have a full interior. As for your metal barrel, is here in this bag. And you do get a little resin end cap. So in this one, looks like piping, exhaust manifold, engine parts. So here's part of the engine, the uh, belts, manifold parts by looks of things, more piping. Brackets, top of the engine by looks of things. Another piece there. This screw here contains a lot of engine parts. So this is main engine block, the radiator system. Part of the gearbox by the looks of things, these are the radiators as well, top and bottom of the engine by the looks of things. This looks like the drivetrain, engine parts. So here's part of the uh, manifold again, here are engine parts. Another manifold piece, structural, here's some piping, here's part of the uh, Radiator system. Here's part of the engine. I think it might be your oil pan. And there's more engine pieces. It's part of the engine block. Here's the other side. These pieces go on the engine as well. And then we got all these these tra uh, not transmission but the uh, drivetrain pieces. Here's what the radiators look like on both sides. Um, didn't see any fans unless they're done in further edge. What 
Ben köpüğün ayına kaçıklı oldum. Eski figürüz. Böyle bir şey var mı? This large sprue in this bag is the lower hole basically. So we have this large sprue, transmission cases, the size of the tank, the lower hole, these are like fuel tanks, these are the fenders, these are glaciers and firewall. So here's the transmission case pieces. These are like radio equipment or battery boxes, they look like radio equipment to me, because we have another one there. The side of the tank. As for the tank length itself, it's going to be about five inches in length. Very small vehicle. Here's the firewall, defenders, and side skirts. Here's one of the uh, plates. Engine deck. It is. It should be, uh, I can show this is visible, which is a, uh, what's behind it? If you look behind, um, I don't know how, how well you can see, it, it, it is, it is cut out, so you can see, see through there. Um, all your tools. This is like part of the turret. Towing eyes. These are the fans for the radiator. There they are. These look like spare wheels, maybe. Uh, some storage boxes. I'm not sure what these are. More hatches. There's the other side of the uh, tank. Nicely detailed and done. Unfortunately, there is some jetter pins you're gonna to have to take care of there on the inside. Being it as a full interior, you are gonna to have to take care of those jetter pins. Last little sprue in this bag contains lights, pretty standard stuff. And in here is your crew members that are ICM. No, sorry, not ICM, the mini art figures. So, pretty standard. Not too bad, a little bit flashy around the edges. Mini, mini art figures are like that, they do take some clean up. If you've ever built them or worked with them. This one has the uh, black leather coat, this guy here. Here's an, another crew member. And so is this guy here. Pretty standard stuff for the crew. So there you are my friends, there's another kit from IBG Models, 135 scale, 7TP, Polish tank, single turret. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you later.